once again welcome to Sacred Family and uh, once this is on my channel everybody else. Um, so I have a really weird one, it's still Christian persecution, sorry about that. But this is two interconnected stories so I'm going to start with uh, the first one I guess, that's the way we do it around here. So on the 26th of August in the Philippines it's reported by persecution.org that on, the, on August the 24th, so four days prior, the southern island of uh, the Philippines, Jolo, saw again another terrorist attack after a cathedral was bombed early last year. So far, more than 15 have been killed, including one suicide bomber, while 75 have been wounded. The two suicide attacks took place not far away from the bombed cathedral of the first attack. Uh, a homemade bomb mounted on a motorcycle exploded an hour later. A woman blew herself up, that's quite unusual, uh, near the area of the first blast, killing many soldiers who were keeping watch. And at, at the time of this article, no one has claimed responsibility and the military suspect suspects that both bombings are the work of Abu Sayyaf, the Islamic extremist group originally linked to Al-Qaeda and then to Islamic State IS. Sulu province, where Jolo is located, is known as a stronghold of the Abu Sayyaf terror group. According to the country's commander, two female suicide bombers, one of them Indonesian, were behind Monday's twin attacks as government soldiers in the area were placed on high alert. Al Jazeera reports that one of the attackers was probably the Indonesian wife of the first ever Filipino suicide bomber. The idea really took hold in that household. She blew himself up outside a military camp in um, Indonan town, also in Sulu, in 2019. So terrorism has been on the rise in the Philippines in recent years, um, especially the South. Uh, there are at least six suicide bombings in the past three years, which is alarming to the authorities, as it should be. The army suggested placing martial law over Jolo after Monday's attacks, but uh, many human rights uh, concerns were raised, and rightly so. So now, secondly, so in terms of, so one of those ladies was identified as the widow of a previous suicide bomber, the first villain. Filipino suicide bomber. So, um, also on that day, um, Abu Sayyaf uh, claimed responsibility for those two uh, suicide bombings near a cathedral in the southern Philippine city of Jolo that killed at least 15 and injured dozens more. According to officials, the two suicide bombers were both widows of pro-Islamic state fighters. You couldn't make it up, you just couldn't make it up. The attack um, marked the first joint terror attack carried out in the country by wives of dead jihadists. I mean, what an accolade. What an accolade. Um, it also became the deadliest militant attack since the same group carried out a twin suicide bombing at a cathedral last year, 2019 in January. The police confirmed the identities of the suspects. The first attacker was the wife of Norman Lasuka, the first ever suicide bomber in the Philippines, and the other was the wife of Talha, Abu Talha, an Islamic State bomb expert who was killed in the clash with security forces in November of 2019 in the Southern Philippines. So you didn't hear it here first, but you definitely didn't hear it on the BBC. Um, two, I can't help laughing, it's just so outrageous. Sorry, two ladies whose husbands had very recently killed themselves or been killed in the pursuit of terror have themselves joined the ranks of martyrs um, to the cause of IS Al Qaeda, um, you know, any sort of Islamic, pro Islamic jihad movements. So uh, it's a worrying trend anyway. The Philippines, I don't ever think of it as a terror hotspot, and I hope it never becomes so. Please do pray for the widows. I've never even thought about it before. The families of jihadis who may not, in that instance, share their views, their like erroneous and detestable views, I might add. However, but come to be vilified and um, hated as a result of their family members' uh, own free will choice or coercive, like coerced choice. So please do pray for those people because they can come under the most tremendous spiritual attack as a result of their family members' ill-advised and ill-conceived plans. Um, I'd like to pray specifically for ISWAP, Boko Haram, IS, Al Qaeda, all of the people who have been um, deluded and um, bedazzled by the ideology that tells them that other human beings are not worth um, the oxygen that they were 
grieving prior to being uh, killed. So, on that bombshell, uh, please do come and see us in the comments section. Share, like, subscribe. Come and see me on Carla Kaysoko Films. Like, I don't want to leave this on a downer. Um, come to Discord, which is absolutely free. You can pay a little teensy bit of money for YouTube membership and then you will like unlock different layers of fabulousness, may I add, um, for which I am ever so partly responsible. But obviously, the Holy Spirit is like big in the game in charge. So please do come and see us. Worry not, cast your anxieties on the Lord. Romans 8, 28, uh, Jeremiah 29, 11. Like, it's all good. But still, we need to pray for the persecuted church specifically. China's getting out of hand, but when is isn't it? So I'm going to let you go on that bombshell, as it were. And please do pray for us in the park. We pray for you. Uh, if you don't have money to donate to any of these valid Christian uh, causes, please do give your prayer time because it's more valuable anyway. Um, we all know that. And you don't have to pay taxes on it. So, God bless you all and I'll see you next time. Bye.